All right, everyone. Hello and welcome back to the channel. All right, now so here's another video that my good friend Jennifer sent me. And Jennifer, thank you for the video. Now the video deals with a frauditor that we are all well aware of, and uh, let's just say he is well known for e-begging okay but in this video he's not e-begging in this video him and his uh, wife uh, and child are uh, washing clothes washing clothes at their local laundromat and let's just say anyone with uh, new kids uh, and I mean new kids meaning uh, uh, from the age of one to around six or seven when uh, a child most needs uh, the discipline to show them how to act and uh, you know be respectful to others while out in public okay well uh, this parent uh, uh, that uh I don't know, just has a difficult time of uh, showing discipline and uh, and has a hard time if somebody criticizes their child in any way. Uh, let's just say the child acting up at the local laundromat has just got him, uh, as well as his nasty attitude that he has, trespass from the laundromat. Laundromat pretty much says, go wash your clothes somewhere else. We don't need your couple of dollars here and uh, be on your way. Now, take into consideration that uh, uh, the attitude that this knucklehead and he causes a scene, uh, police are called. Police are called. And let me also mention that uh, now the police are the bad guys because uh, they don't kiss his ass. They don't kiss his ass and um, pretty much they trespass him. Uh, the business owner, which is a private business, may I add, trespass him. They don't want his uh, few dollars uh, that he spends there to wash clothes. Go somewhere else, okay? Now, uh, this is what uh, caught my eye. I found it interesting because... Uh, this here proves uh, his actions here. Uh, he has his, uh, he's calling for his subscribers to call Flood the laundryman. Call Flood the laundryman and then call Flood the damn police department because they didn't kiss my ass. They ended up trespassing me and, uh, that's all basically YouTube is for him. YouTube is for, uh, a social media site where he could generate some revenue and um, not even work for it, not even earn it by doing audits. Uh, he wants to uh, beg for money. I need money for a hotel. I need money to get a vehicle. I need money for a bicycle. I need money to get my daughter gifts for Christmas. And Jesus, I mean, come on now. Have a little bit of a... Uh, I don't know, self-respect or whatever. I just can't see a man, a man, and I know this may sound chauvinistic, but in the way I was raised up, a man is the breadwinner. You know, when I was together with my uh, partner, I never wanted her to work. I wanted her to stay home, take care of the kids, and let me go out there. I'll make the money, okay? And if it's, if it's possible that any one of us can do it, I know in today's society, you need two incomes coming in, but if you uh, feel that you can pull out the bills and take care of our things and still have a little extra so be it keep the wife at home where she belongs oh i'm sorry ladies <laughs> anyway uh the fact of the matter is this guy is uh, uh using social media as well as his subscribers as a weapon let's get into the video let me show you let me prove it to you and we'll go from there Excuse me. Can I get into the bathroom? Give me one second, guys. Can I use it? I don't know. Can I touch on? I'm hitting it. Uh -huh. I don't guess. Honey, I don't give a shit. She has to use back in 30 times. It says for customer. I know, only. she's a kid. I know, I know, I know. You just can't hold it. Hold it. I know. So, all right, let me get this. I'm going to pee after you. I just okay. got to get this stuff loaded. Stand right there until I get done, okay? I will. I got to pee right there. No people. Don't, don't play in the restroom, okay? okay? She don't play in there. She did earlier. No, she didn't. You're wrong. Yes, I've seen it. You're wrong. I won't say it. Yeah, she did. That's part of the problem. She did. She's five. 
Don't defend that woman. I'm not. I'm about to cuss that woman out. Don't defend her. All right, so let's take note that the owner of the laundromat, all she did was comment that uh, uh, don't let the little one play in the bathroom. As we will find out further down in the video that the little one was playing with the water, turning the water on for no reason and so on. And I, I think we could understand where the owner of uh, any business, but this laundromat here, we could understand their concern. Water is one of their main functions of their operation. So I could imagine, you know, their water bill is abnormally high. Okay, but again, instead of uh, the parent taking it and say, okay, I understand and I'll keep an eye on her, all of a sudden he gets all defensive, you know, uh, uh, he, she's only five years old and, and so on. I mean, uh, I'm not trying to be mean here now. I have kids and they when they were little, they were... Uh, a little bit of a pain in the butt when we'd go out to various places. But again, I don't think the owner meant any harm. Uh, it's just she's looking at this uh, as a business. And the bathroom is for the customers. They are customers. But uh, for the customers to do their business and be out. It's not a playground. It's not, you know, where... Uh, you, you guys get what I'm getting at, but just letting you know, uh, very respectful, uh, it's not for playing, okay? And he's taking it the wrong way. Well, let's get back to the video. I'm not going to the challenge has stopped. I know. Uh, let me in, Scott. Skyler, let me in now. I'll be, to I'll be calling your boss, don't worry. He is the boss. They own it. No, trust trust me, the, the bank owns it, they don't. She's live right now on YouTube. She just don't know it. She don't be famous. Everybody, this is the laundromat. And all right, now, so as you heard him mention to the owner here, she is live on YouTube. You are live on YouTube there. And if it were me that he was telling me that, hey, you're live on YouTube, I'd be telling him you and YouTube can go F off, okay? Yeah. And you also hear him telling his subscribers, we're at the laundromat, guys. And uh, further down in the video, you will hear uh, uh, him telling the subscribers the address as well as the phone number to that laundromat. So... Again, I say, I think it's safe to say that uh, he's using his subscribers on his social media account as a weapon. As a weapon. I know. Literally, a woman would be like, I'm mad at my daughter because she washed her fucking hands in the sink and let the water run for just a couple of minutes longer than what that woman thought she should have. That's some fucking bullshit. She may be the one that fucking owns it, but I probably she she don't own it. The bank owns this motherfucker. God, fuck. What? What? Okay, bring it up nicely. Come on, I need your help. Hold on one second. Let's see. One second, Sam. She was pushing it up here to the front. Stop telling my daughter what to do. You need to stop telling my daughter what to do. She needs to leave. Because because she she was told to push it up front. And you're live on YouTube right now. Everybody, this is uh the great laundry mat in Clarksville, Tennessee, on Fort Campbell Boulevard. Their phone number is 931-546-8551. Woman told us we had to leave because my daughter was told to push the car up to the front, that's and that's what she did. She didn't bang it. Y'all are live right now. The world's watching y'all. 
All right, so let me say that I understand that some of you may not like what I'm about to ask for you guys to do, but uh, this knucklehead here has his comments turned off, and I wanted to get an idea on uh, how his subscribers uh, reacted to this interaction that he had with the laundromat here, okay? And he does that intentionally because he knows there's going to be people telling him, yo, you're a petty-ass uh, individual here. You want to uh, uh, cause problems at this laundromat, a private businessman. I add, who has every right uh, to, uh, again, I say that lady didn't mean any harm in uh, telling uh, that she didn't want the little one playing with the water in the bathroom. It's not what it's there for and so on. But again, he has his comments turned off and I would hate to think... I would hate to think that uh, uh, most of his subscribers that are not playing uh, with a full deck uh, to be subscribed to this guy, you got to be not playing with a full deck. So I'm asking that uh, any, uh, I would prefer a lady, a lady would call and interact with this laundromat, let them know that he is a knucklehead and also give her the proper information on how, they, uh, how to file a privacy complaint. Yes, it's understandable that it's a business, but it's being, um, it's being shown on YouTube in a, uh, in a fashion of harassment. Harassment, okay? Uh, because again, just the uh, idea that he wants his uh, subscribers to core flood them because uh, uh, a little petty ass little interaction that he had there. To me, uh, they can get this video taken down. So again, I'm asking uh, one of you young ladies there if you have the time to take the uh, make the effort to give them a call. Let them know that there are good people out there that uh, truly despise these knuckleheads that use their social media account and their subscribers as a weapon because uh, things didn't go the way they wanted to because the laundromat didn't kiss their ass because uh, the owner felt that it was, uh, you know, unnecessary for the little one to play with the water. Let's get back to the video. That's not right. I need to go, but you know. Wait, you didn't bring no door. That door's working fine. You don't need this. Come on. The door's working fine. You have a good, you have a good person, all right? Yeah. You're going to have a lawsuit. That's exactly what you're about to have. You don't know who I am, man. You're about to, I'm not threatening you. I'm promising you. All right, that's fine. It's a fucking promise, buddy. It's a promise. You're a bitch. Just like her, yeah. A bitch. 931-546-8551, guys. Everybody call. There's the number, guys. There's the number right there. Everybody call this motherfucking place. Shut the phone lines down. Fucking bitch. Ain't nobody gonna talk to you like that. You wanna go pick her up? No. What? Nope. What? Tell everybody, say call. Call the company. Hey, hey. Phone number? Three. 931 She's reading y'all the phone number, guys. Did he answer, Preston? <laughs> All right. Now, so as you notice, he's talking to one of his subscribers there asking if uh, if the laundromat picked up. OK, so uh, again, that tells me that uh, his subscribers are going to call and harass that laundromat on his behalf. And I'm asking with whether some of you may not like it or not. Yes, I'm asking and I will be making a phone call. I prefer a female, a few of you ladies that may have time on your hand tomorrow or the next day or whatever. Whatever. Just the call. Let them know, hey, we support you. Uh, don't let these knuckleheads get to you, okay? People like this need to... Uh uh, they need to know that they have support, guys, okay? And that's the, uh, whether some of you may see that I'm stooping to their level. Again, I say, guys, if we, uh, if we continue to play by the rules, 
they will always have one up on us, okay? So, unfortunately, my way of thinking, you have to fight fire with fire. So, again, you want to hate me? So be it. But uh, I want to make sure that these people know that they have people supporting them, good people supporting them, and uh, uh, just let them know. Don't let these knuckleheads get to them in any way. And give them, again, the proper procedures to file the Privacy Act. No, baby. Come on, get over here, because I'm pretty sure they called the cops. Go over there with mommy, okay? Let daddy deal with this. All right. Now, so as I notice, he received a comment here from someone who calls himself Deletes Laws Clips Reloaded. Now, I'm not sure if that's Chili or not, but uh, oh, we all know Chili bailed this knucklehead out, him and his wife, a while back ago, and we know that uh, he supports them. Uh, why? Because they're both scammers. They're both in this bullshit to scam people out of their money. So I'm not sure if this individual Deletes Laws Clips Reloaded is Chili or not, but... I just wanted to point that out that um uh, I could imagine Chili supporting this knucklehead and uh and seeing what he uh, what transpired there and um hey anything to screw good people over. I know that. Oh, they had somebody come out and look to see if we were still here. Yeah, I'm still here. I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> I just found a place I'm doing my comeback audit, guys. Fucking laundry mat. Right here. The phone number's... They took the phone off the hook, Sam. <laughs> Now everybody knows where I am, but I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck where they know where I am. I want them to know where I am. Because if I see any motherfuckers around me or my family, I'm going to take it as a threat. And just a fair warning to anybody who may want to fuck around, Jeremiah is armed. I do carry a gun. Fair warning. I will defend my family at all costs. Yeah, he did. He came out. He came out to the door. He did. That's right. He came out and told us to leave. Yep, he sure did. She was the first one that said we needed to go, and then she, then he did. Go back and rewind it. You'll see it. Now, when I take this video down, I'm gonna edit it and just put this part up into her video. We got to take off because my mom just called us to, here's the cops. Cops are here. Oh, two of them, guys. Two of them. Why are they going to fly up on me? Don't answer no questions. Don't even speak to them. Skylar, don't say a word. Oh, man, wow. And I was ready to go, too. Watch this, guys. Hi. Don't say nothing, too. Hi. What's going on? I'm just trying to leave. <laughs> Trying to do our laundry, you know. 
we have a five-year-old god who was a trouble who was a troublemaker today i, I would say that Inside the laundromat? Yes, she was a troublemaker. It's not funny. She was a troublemaker. <laughs> so, of course, the owner lady got a little aggravated. Shouldn't have said what she said to my she daughter. She shouldn't have talked to our, our five year old boy. She, no. She's like, get her head off. I asked Tyler to push the cart right up to the front. Don't touch our cart. I mean, and I got it all live streamed. The, the whole thing. On the kid, and I said, I asked him. I mean, it's not like she ran. Tyler literally walked in nicely up there like a. She got pissed off because Skylar kept having a pee. Yeah, she's, yeah. she's five. She's five. When she drinks a lot, she has to pee, you know. And then Samantha said, Will you push the cart up to the front for me? Skylar was pushing it up there just as slow as possible. This woman loses her shit on her so i speak up and say hey you don't you don't need to speak to my daughter like that you need to get out of here and, and I mean, the dude grabbed her by the arm at that point and then they went into the back it's not like we weren't trying to leave i mean we were right. done doing our laundry like it's not like we're just staying in the club out of it i was literally pulling my stuff you know our laundry out of their business is there anything like, in like, there you guys need no you got everything out of there we're done yeah okay. but he said he was on the top so we figured well i'm so, I don't, I mean, I don't, I guess you know the cops are, um, okay. the same as the cops. I mean, I don't know. I mean, Cindy would be going out there. Yeah. We're just trying to go home. Hey, how are you? I got stickers? I do not have stickers. Oh, it's a tea baker. Oh, so from y'all's point of view, what happened? Someone just a cranky, bitter old woman. Got pissed daughter. off because my daughter kept having to pee. Yeah. She's five, she's you know? Five. Yeah. And then Samantha asked she her to push the bathroom. It. Okay, maybe she did. And Samantha asked awesome. her to push the cart, the thing you put your clothes in, up to the front. Scala was pushing it up here. I got it on video. I was live streaming the whole time. So just as calm as possible, pushing it up to the front. This woman loses her shit on my daughter. I tell her, you don't need to speak to my daughter like that. She starts screaming, you need to get the hell out of my store, blah, 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 blah. Dude grabs her by the arm and carries her to the back. Then he comes out, y'all need to leave. We're leaving any damn way. Like, we were already trying to leave. I can understand if she went up there and ran the cards and, you know, blah, blah, blah. even though she is still a five girl. She didn't. She actually, like I said, I got it all video. Pushed it up there. Yeah. No, no, no. The metal carts inside there. Yeah. So they lose the shit, call the cops over a five year old being a five year old. I mean, we weren't the ones causing the story, but you know. All right, so let me jump back in here and comment quickly, whereas uh, I think we could all agree that this knucklehead and his wife are exaggerating big time, big time exaggerating. Whereas if we go back into the video in the beginning here, the owner, the tone in her voice in no way gave any indication of her being irate. Other than the fact that she was speaking to them firm, and uh, you would think, I understand uh, any parent would be on a defense when it comes to the kids or whatever, but damn it, all he had to say, okay, I understand, she's being a little bit of a pain in the butt, so on, blah, blah, blah. Take it as advice, okay? We all know kids are going to be kids, damn it, okay? But for him to get all bent out of shape like the bitch that he is and, and then want to call on his subscribers to call flood, which they are doing, okay? And you would think, damn it, the subscribers would be uh, adult enough to say, okay, you know, hey, your child was being a little, you know, pain in the butt, and so on. Take it, you know, let it go, you know, blow it off or whatever, okay? But now, as we all know, uh, the frauditors as well as the subscribers, Subscribers, they get off on shit like this, okay? They get off on it, really. And again, I say this knucklehead here is blowing shit way out of proportion. And uh, my God, he needs an ass whipping. Big time does he need it. Let's get back to the video. You know, like, so I just spoke to, I guess, the manager. He wants okay. you guys trespassing the front. Okay? That's right, that's right. So, how we typically, are you guys familiar with how we do trespass forms? Not here. Uh, what we typically do? We're here a couple days. Okay. So what this typically is, we just need ID IDs. No, you don't need ID. Okay. 
That's totally fine. Then. Don't come back to the property. Then, okay? Don't worry. I won't be. This is verbal warning saying that you're trespassing the property. You guys come back to the property. You guys will deal, okay? Any questions for us? Nope. Are you guys. Name and badge number. I'm the first block, 5304. Here's. Baker 4501. Thanks for the lawsuit. You guys take, yeah, please yeah. don't come back to the property. <laughs> it's funny, ain't it, dude? It's like, funny, ain't it? Like it's funny. Like You're a young rookie, man. You don't. So it's kind of, yeah. I don't want to go to jail for getting beat down to that. So, with all these property. stores here being on the same lot, it's strictly just their property. Now, that oh, okay. doesn't mean staying in front of their door and filming and harassing them inside oh, the store. Oh, I can stand on that sidewalk and film them all day. Fine, yeah. 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 Don't yeah. go up to the door. Front of the door, because that comes with a little property, okay? I just want to make sure, like, if we came down, we could have something. No, you guys are really fine. You guys go to this store or the store next to whatever, that's perfectly fine. Don't go inside their property. Yeah, we. I figured the trespass was coming once he went in. Are you guys free to go? I'm good. Yeah. No, they don't have anything. They said they didn't have anything. Free to go, free to stay. Free to go. You're not. Come on, man. I know. Nope. Go. Go. Yeah, they trespassed us, guys, because of a five-year-old having to pee, guys. Come on now. Blow their fucking phone lines the fuck up, guys. Come on now. Blow their fucking phone lines the fuck up, guys. His car... Well, there you go. Another fraudster who shows that they are full of shit and they are true liars. Liars. Like Sean just got said, to be a fraudster, you have to be a liar. He's telling his subscribers that he was trespassed because his daughter had to go use the bathroom. His daughter had to use the bathroom, so that's why they got trespassed. Oh, his attitude, his personality, his uh, threatening of the owner, uh, him harassing her, uh, him calling for a car flood, didn't have anything to do with him being trespassed. It was all because the little girl had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and again, I say, the fraud of the subscribers, they believe every damn thing they uh that the knucklehead says of shit they're watching the same video we're watching and again i say you would think one of, and that's probably why he got the comments turned off because he knows there are going to be a few of his subscribers that tell him yo you didn't get trespassed because of the little girl wanting to use the bathroom you got trespassed because maybe uh, uh she abused that uh, water plane taking it as a, a joke and i understand a little one didn't mean any harm by it but i'm just saying okay uh, the shit that's coming Coming out of his mouth, uh, implying that he got a uh, trespass Look because uh, his daughter wanted to go you. use the bathroom. It shocks the shit out of me that anybody would uh, swallow that. Okay, and his own subscribers, I'm sure, a handful or two would have told them, "You didn't get, you didn't get trespass for that. You got trespass because you started harassing them. You started threatening them. You called for a car flood and so on. Okay, that's why you got trespass. Let me know." your thoughts on the video guys see, and i'll see you like in you. my next video you need to look up last days of freedom on youtube and realize who i am i know you don't care six cops fired i think i've done something you have a shitty one See, it's people like him that make other cops look like fucking assholes. And, they, and people wonder why cops are hated so fucking much. It's because of young fucking cocky motherfuckers like him. And I will be going to your uh, captain and filing a complaint. He thinks the shit is funny. He's going to think it's funny when his name's listed on the lawsuit. This is private property. You have no jurisdiction.